I'm Jim Mart, and I'm director of the Rebecca Randall Bryan Art Gallery on the campus of Coastal Carolina University. I grew up in the waning years of the Carter administration, and I grew up in mid-Michigan near uh, some of the General Motors towns where we used to build every Buick. That experience as a young kid told me that I didn't want to work in factories my whole life. And so I ran off to study art and art school in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Kendall College of Art and Design. Had a fabulous education and experience there. Coastal's a really good fit for me because we're in a really exciting time as a university. We're just big enough that we have some muscle, but we're still growing, which means I have a lot of opportunity to do what I've always wanted to do, which is to help shape a program. To make us the very best program in the state is something that interests me. I'm not content to be mediocre. And so while I'm here, what the growth that Coastal is experiencing is going to allow me to do is to make the very best program in the state. I'm really committed to the Rebecca Randall Bryan Art Gallery. This is like my church. I've dedicated my life to en enhancing and facilitating more and better art. That means creating artists, that means exhibiting artwork, that means fostering environments that can support those types of activities as well. But it's not hard work when it's something that you love. And so because I, I love these things and because I'm passionate about these things, and because just like Miss Bryant wanted, I want to share ideas. Those things are exciting. What does Bob need to do to correct this? Add more white. I also have a classroom component to my life here at Coastal. What I'm teaching this semester is two-dimensional design and color theory. It's really how pictures work and understanding how to manipulate pictures in order to make them do the things in which you want them to do. How to say the things you want to say, how to manipulate people into seeing the world the way that you want it seen. Well, in addition to being a gallery director and a teacher, I'm also an active artist. And I'm an active artist because I think it's important to walk the talk. So I work currently in denim, and I'm a textile artist, and so I will often make representational portraits of family members, people I know and love, who are directly engaged in this type of lifestyle or have been affected by the recent downturn in our economy. Most recently, I was shortlisted for the Gibbs Museum 1858 Prize for Contemporary Art. Uh, 250 artists from throughout the Southeast United States were shortlisted down to seven. I was very happy to make that list. I've also recently received um, the top prize at Lake City's Art Fields exhibition. The $50,000 that the good people of Lake City uh, were gracious enough to award to me uh, was a door opening experience and has really done a lot to help support my creative career and to allow people to know who I am and the type of work that I do. I plan on being here for a good long time. I have a lot of work to do. That's essentially, as an itinerant artist, your call uh, to go into work where you're needed most. And so as someone who has traveled across the country making artwork, working at various institutions, what's nice about landing in a place like Coastal is it's really a place that I can call home. I can have roots, I can have friends, and I can dig in and actually do good work. And so I'm on this kind of grandiose mission to change the world. And we're gonna use art in this gallery as a lever to make that happen.